Hey guys, this is Lawrence from buildmyecommerce.com. Before I start this video, I want to thank Cart Advisor for making an excellent post on how to move an open cart installation to a new domain. Before you start the migration, always make sure to back up your current store and database. Let's take a look at the table of contents. I put time codes so you guys can jump to the section you're interested in watching. Here in the Seligans subdomain, I have the open card store. I want to move this store to a new subdomain called new store, which is empty at the moment, as you can see. Even though I'm using subdomain for the migration, the same concept applies to primary domains, such as yourstorename.com. First step is to export the MySQL database from the current web store. From the C panel, go to PHP My Admin. From the left column, click your store database name. Click Export. Under the Export method, click Custom. Make sure the format is set to SQL. Scroll down and click Go to start the download. The file will be downloaded to your computer. You can download the store through your file manager or FTP program such as FileZilla. If your web store is big in terms of file size, I recommend you use the FTP program to download. Since this current store is light, I'll just use the file manager to select all the files and compress. Now I'll download the compressed file to my desktop. First, create new database for your new web store. From the C panel, click MySQL database wizard. Create the new database name. I'll just call it new store. Click next. For the database user, I'll enter new user and create the password. Click create user. Click all privileges and click next. That completes the creation of the new empty database. Now we need to import the old database to the new one. From the C panel, go to PHP My Admin. Click the new database from the left column. Click import. Choose file and select the backed up database you downloaded earlier. Scroll down, click go to start the import process. You will see the import has been successfully finished message. Next, you need to upload the old store that was backed up earlier into the new subdomain folder. You can use file manager if your store is light in size or FTP program. I'll be using the file manager. Click upload and upload the zip file. Select the zip file and click Extract. Click Reload to see all the files. All we have to do now is reconfigure a couple of config.php files in order for your new web store to work. We must do this because right now the files are pointing to the old subdomain. Click the config.php file and click Code Editor. As you can see here, still pointing to the old subdomain. Now we need to replace with new subdomain paths. The old subdomain was called Seligans. So we need to replace all the Seligans with new store. Click the binocular icon to find and change the names quickly. Now under the database, we need to enter the new database username, password, and database name you created earlier. Click Save Changes and click Close. 
Finally, we need to do the same to the config.php in the admin folder. After you finish, go to the new subdomain to check the live store. I would really appreciate if you can like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll be notified when my next video is uploaded. Thanks guys and see you next time.